Andy, I don't blame you. I really don't. I, I don't blame you. I mean, there was a time when growing up with the true value system and innate human God-given self-awareness that all of us have as man's men, which is eroded over time by fake news influence and other infotainment influence, all the perverse messages out of Hollywood, which have reconditioned your mind. There was a time when I would react to your stupid comment, <laughs> and it is perverse and disgusting, by the way. But that withstanding, I'm not angry at you. And I'm not angry with you because I grew up, I too grew up in Taxachusetts. I too was not only surrounded by the perverse, pervasive messages of the communist homosexual media, which, by the way, is there to exploit you and pervert your mind in order to extract a profit from you. I feel sorry for you. Uh, and I feel sorry for you because you have bought lock, stock, and barrel the anti-gospel, the evil communist message from the television, from Hollywood, and from your retarded mob-think public school teachers who have fully also adopted lock, stock, and barrel been sold the communist narrative, which the fake news has been selling for over a century. That somehow... <laughs> That if real Americans, like America's man's man, resist the communist message, <laughs> that somehow we ourselves are, are homosexuals. And that, that makes absolutely zero sense whatsoever. And the only reason you believe that, the only reason, you know, the only reason I'm not giving you a more rational response, which is sim a more sane response, which is simply, you know, F you, is because I understand. I understand that you have been peer pressured, you have been, uh, you have been sold, you've been brainwashed by not only your, uh, your, your weak, effeminate Massachusetts peers, even your very own pastors, into thinking, oh, we ought to love on the homosexuals more. We ought to love on the homosexuals more. And we shouldn't hate that they're perverting the minds of our women, our children, and the men in their lives. It's, it's far too advanced for you. So I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say maybe watch a little bit less television. Get the heck out of the communist state of Taxachusetts. Maybe, uh live among the Europeans or people who haven't been as poisoned by our fake news media stateside. And, uh, and maybe your answer to everything won't be, oh, you need to come out of the closet. <laughs> because um, maybe, maybe they've gotten to you. Maybe they've gotten inside of your head. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe even they've sold the women in your life on this weird and disgusting notion that perhaps it's inevitable that you need to plunge another man to be happy, you know, and that's, uh, that's the sick communist message. And um, while I don't blame you because uh, you've been perverted by the fake news and the infotainment media, there comes a time when a man needs to realize that he's been sold down the river. Uh, and, um, uh, and, and there's a time when you need to be held responsible, uh, for saying stupid things and, uh, and toting the communist, toting the homosexual, the homosexual, toting the anti-American, anti-Christian line. Um, I don't know if you claim to be a follower of Jesus Christ, but, uh, uh, but, uh, but you, you've got to be wise as a serpent and innocent as a dove, and um, uh, and that's uh, that's not you right now. I'd like to see you at that point, um, but um, you know, if, if if you're gonna if you're going to uh, pressure 
I mean, I'm America's man's man. Uh, I, I can see through your lies, but if, if you're gonna if you're gonna be a part of the frogs in the boiling pot and uh, try to pressure men of God to uh, to become homosexuals with the same tired old lines that are repeated ad nauseum and sitcoms and uh, the uh, the stupid stupid movies that nobody watches anymore that come out of Hollywood. You better check yourself, bro. This is America's man's man.